We love a Christmas trend, but this one has got us divided this morning. Oh. It's the half Christmas tree. Like a normal tree, but cut in half so it can flush against the wall. It really does exactly what it says on the tin. Great for saving space and it's perfect if you only really care about how the front of the tree looks. But what do you think, How Are you kind of a half Christmas tree kind <laughs> of a girl or...? <laughs> Actually, I think it's an... A brilliant idea. Do you? I honestly do, yeah, because when <laughs> pe a lot of people uh, are a bit sort of pushed for space, aren't they? And you know what? A normal Christmas tree just takes up so much room and, and there's no point in decorating the back of it, is there? Because you can't see it unless you've got a huge house and it's right in the middle of the hall or whatever. Um, but at the same time, think of the green aspect <laughs> of it. Just think of that, right? Because you only have to cut down half the trees. Yeah, but if it's artificial, right? it doesn't... What? matter though does it if it's artificial because are these half yeah. trees artificial yeah. trees yeah well, really no, not probably be either you just sawed it in half. oh that's true yeah. i mean i i'm kind of with mcgiff i am trying so hard to not be bar humbug this year i'm really really trying but lincoln keeps going why have you bought these horrendous christmas cushions that you've put on the settee <laughs> i can't why believe you, you have this horrendous <laughs> no. and also my christmas tree which i did put up a couple of weeks ago there's like a little room under our under our house which I just store stuff in, and I literally went downstairs. There's a tree which is about so big, I take the bin bag off it that I put on last year, <laughs> and there it is, readily decorated yeah. on my little table. I don't know whether they there, there it is. Lots there it is the little tree. And if that was half, that would be flush against me wall because I've got a house which hasn't got big rooms. It's got mm. quite a few little rooms. So I think the half tree is a genius idea. Does it idea. have the lights on out of the box <laughs> like ours did? They're not stuck on. They're just the decorations from last year that I don't take off, so I just take the bin bag <laughs> off and they're already de de decorated. You see, that's handy. <laughs> However, half a Christmas tree would absolutely wind me up. The optical illusion of it. Would, I, I couldn't live with it. I just would literally be looking at it going, it's half a tree. Yeah, but I, I want to with it when I grow up because in my mind, I'm Christine Lampard at Christmas, but actually I'm me. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I'm watching Elf on the, like, the 25th of November just to warm me up. And then December starts What and was I'm your in. thing about, didn't you get a ready-made tree? With I got a ready, yes, with the lights sort of on it, but really, yeah. really secured on it. Yeah, and my poor brilliant. mom and sister who tried to help me one year to take it all down, tried to rip the lights off this built-on tree thing. It took oh them about God. three days. Did they it's think very you secure? <laughs> How on earth did you get the lights on that? And I went, no, they were stuck on it on purpose. But no, are you? Are, what about a half tree for you, Kelly? Would you be up for it? Uh, no, I don't want a half tree. I wanted to do Christmas, as you can see. Like that's just my, you know, just the back of shelf there. And I'm, I'm like, I'm all Christmas out. I started early. I started in November. Oh look, there's my oh, little yeah. tree. Yeah. So um. We've got obviously got a home here in Liverpool and a home uh, down south. So yeah, we've got two sets of everything. I do Christmas full on. I just think we've all had such a miserable year, haven't we? Yep. So anything to make us happy and yeah. get in the festive spirit. I and have in the gone mood. mad, and I know I've doubled up on presents because yeah. I've just been so I'm rubbish at thinking out. This. I know I have done all this. my shopping. It's not like you. But every single year when we're all together, quite a lot of us normally every single year are together, and I always think, why are we only doing this at Christmas? So this morning I read in one of the um, online papers that this lady does what she calls summermas. And because her, her mum, who's quite old, um, is a bit like McGiff and can't bear the cold, she didn't want to start going up to her daughter's house because it was never warm enough. So they all get together, about 21, 22 of them. They barbecue a lamb at Christmas. They're oh, all outside no. and they just they do a little um, summermas sort of Santa present. They still have Christmas, but they have it in a smaller way. A smaller way. And they so all the get together in the summer though. outside. And I think that's a that's a nice thing to do, especially for those people who are limited this year on what they yeah. can do. But it's something that I've been thinking about doing. I, I just never, you know, I but never But would you get still put half a tree up in the summer? That's the question. I'd still put half a tree up in the <laughs> summer, absolutely for sure. <laughs> I'm going to buy one this afternoon. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs>